onto histogram. Now this is technically a, an RGB histogram. It's showing the red levels, green levels, and blue levels. And what you've got here is this is an actual IRE scale. It's going from 0 to 100 IRE. Uh, IRE or measurement of, now this is very similar to 0 to 1023, where you've got uh, 0 is where your details disappear in the darks, 100 is where your details disappear in the highlights. And with our red channel, you've got uh, a very heavy concentration around 30%, 40% gray, and then it kind of dips to 50, there's not much there, and then a little bit of a hit on, on 60%. But this is, these big mountains show kind of representation of the amount of pixels in your entire image that are red, green, and blue. And right now, we see that the red seems to be way more prominent than the green and the and the blue. The blue tends to be darker and the green ten, and the green is a little brighter than that, but the red is the brightest image and therefore the most prominent image in our in our image right now. So this image like I said is very very just overall warm. If we change this overall image here, if we decide to change the overall color, don't worry about the controls. I'm going to be showing these in my next episode. But if we grab this uh, with a gamma here and we start moving this around and we pump up the blue a little bit, uh, then we actually we're going to get more power under the curves. Let's go under the curves and we're going to um, take our green channel and boost that up uh, down here a little bit and get these kind of matching a little bit more. Right there, this is going to basically balance your image. Balance your image means you have kind of the similar levels of red, green, and blue channels in your image. And let's turn that on and off and look at the before and after here. Shift D to turn that on and off. Though that's a flat image. Let's do this. Rather, uh, I'm going to reset this node to home here, and we're going to uh, just do a basic quick grade on here. We're going to do some contrast. I'm going to do some basic contrast here, spread it out, and you can see the uh, low lights and the highlights uh, shifting and moving around there. And then let's take down our saturation just a little bit. Okay, so now if we want to kind of balance this image, right now this looks like a, very, a, a warmer image, so if we want to balance it so it looks like regular color temperature, not blue or red or green, uh, we can go to our curves here and let's, let's boost up our blues a little bit in the low lights. And see, just boosting those those low lights just a little bit gives us more of a, 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 a properly color temperatured image there. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to do this on a different note so we can just look at, at just what the histogram is doing here. So with this image, we're going to grab our red channel. Let's bring our red channel down a little bit. A little higher up right about there. Bring it down and get it kind of even with the green. And right there, and then our blue channel, uh, we can bring that maybe up a little bit, and our image looks more balanced here. It looks like it's properly balanced here. Now it looks like actual sunlight coming through the windows instead of this kind of warm light. In fact, let's turn off just this node here, just with the color balance in, which is a Command D to turn just that node off, and look how warm that is, and now look how it looks properly color balanced, and we're using the histogram to balance that. The histogram is one tool to do balancing. I also like the uh, Prade to do color balancing as well. This shows an image, this shows a waveform of your red, uh, green, and blue, Oh, this looks like the Mothman prophecies or something like that. It looks like a big moth that's coming to eat me. So maybe this will be my last episode I ever do. Um, all right, but I'm going to reset this node here. I'm going to hit Shift D or Shift Home to reset just that node back to normal there. And let's look at our image here on just the parade. The histogram is one way of doing it. And then this shows your bit depth chart on waveform, of course, with your red channel, your green channel, and your blue channel. Uh, every video image is comprised of three color channels that you're shooting. Uh, you have, have in your camera, in your camera sensor, you have red photosites, green photosites, and blue photosites that will pick up the different luminance levels in red colors, green colors, and blue colors, and composite those together to create uh, literally millions of dis different colors as you change the hue, saturation, and luminance of, of these three different red of these three different channels. But you you have ultimate control over each channel here. Uh, but look at the red though, you can kind of see like the low lights uh, or, or the just below the mids where we're picking up uh, our subject. And uh, look at the green, the green channel is lower than that and then the blue channel is even lower than that. So once again if we're going to be balancing these things we need to bring up the blue channel and the green channel or even bring down the red channel and let's see what we, let's just try the red channel bringing that down because the green is almost meeting the blue. So I'm going to bring down the red channel here. Let's get to where we can see her face here. Right there. Now let's bring down the green a little bit. And I can see a little greenish hue to that, so I'm going to bring down the green just a little bit. And now look at our image. We're getting the kind of that subject in the same 
on the same level there on our parade and it's looking balanced. Look at the before and after when I hit this. I'll turn this note off with just the color, with just the balancing on it. Command D, look at that. It's kind of greenish and too warm. And there you go. And now that looks color balanced. So the so the parade and the histogram, parade is great for two things. Or, or the histogram is great for two things. Just looking at your highlights and your overall balance and your low lights and just and see where the contrast is all together. And then your parade is just a good general tool just for balancing your shots. So those are the four scopes we're going to be using in, in DaVinci Resolve. Kind of give you an idea of, of how these work. Once again, the parade is your red channel from left to right, just like your waveform. And then up and down your brightness levels from a darks to highlights and then your green channel and blue channel. So those are the four scopes there that we're going to be using in DaVinci Resolve. The next episode I'm going to start showing you guys how to use uh, the tools in DaVinci Resolve.